Okay, so we have a ham bone here, and this is actually a femur. And so this is the head of the femur here. This is covered with hyaline cartilage. You can see this uh, clear, very smooth surface here. And this is actually a little tendon right here. It's on the end of the bone. This is in what's called the fovea capitis. And this actually attaches the head of the femur into the hip, the acetabulum, so it fits into a ball and socket joint, just like that. This is the greater trochanter here, and there's a lot of muscle attachments to here. And then there's this is the lesser trochanter here, there's also muscle attachments over here as well. So this is the epiphysis, when we're talking about the structure of a long bone. So this is a long bone, it would extend on out like this, down uh, another foot or so. So this is the epiphysis. This region here is the metaphysis, where the epiphysis and the diaphysis come together. Okay, so this is the diaphysis, the beginning of the diaphysis, the central part of the long bone. And let's see. So on the um, greater trochanter, we have attachments for ligaments. Um, so I've cut some of these back. Uh, so this ham bone came out of a actually a Christmas ham. So so here's some uh, some more ligaments that are attached to the bone, and the periosteum. We can actually get in here, and so this um, so we get. Let's see if I can get a good, some good part of it here. So the, lig the ligaments and the tendons actually connect with the periosteum, and the periosteum is what covers the bone. And so we have, this is the periosteum. You can see it, maybe probably see it uh, going up and down here as I move it back and forth. That's covering over the bone. And it goes over the entire bone. And underneath that uh, dense connective tissue layer, there are some cells that help regenerate the bone. The osteoblasts are underneath there. Um, let's see. So this region up here is uh, cortical bone is all covering this. And inside there is going to be the spongy bone, also trabecular bone, also called cancellous bone. Then if you get down in the diaphysis, diaphysis region here, you have just cortical bone. And so this is what it looks like. For cortical bone, this is the cortical bone, so it's around the cortex, and in the middle is this is yellow marrow. Okay, so it's all fatty tissue, and you can see it's real squishy. So you can squish it like that. I'll take a little toothpick. You can see how squishy and it moves around. And I'll see if I can get out some of this. There's an artery that goes down through the middle of this called the nutrient artery. So here you go. We can get out some of this fatty tissue. So there's your fatty tissue going, it's in the middle of the uh, di diaphysis. And this is called the yellow marrow. And you can see there's, you can see there's more in there. So, so it, it completely fills the central cavity, uh, which is called the, the medullary cavity. The medulla is a space in the middle. So that's the medullary cavity. And there's more yellow marrow way down there. You can dig out some more of that. And if I can actually reach down there, I can actually get to, and I can feel the um, spongy bone. And I'm going to pull out some more of this yellow marrow. And pull out some more of it. Let's see if we can see down into that cavity for you. And if we can, then we'll be able to see a little bit of the spongy bone way down in there. It's gonna be a real. We'll be real lucky if we can actually pull pull this off. Okay. So I can feel it. I can feel the knife hitting down in there and hitting, getting me some resistance down there. So that's the um, spongy bone. And you can kind of hear it crunching a little bit. So that's the spongy bone or trabecular bone. Remember, it's all crossed like that. It has red marrow between those trabeculae, the little beams. And, the, um, and so when you crunch into it, it's not as hard as the cortical bone. This cortical, bo cortical bone is very hard. I'm not making even a dent in that. It's hard to cut. You have to take really a saw to cut into this. So the cortical bone is very tough. And um, so there is your ham bone. And, oh, show you the hyaline cartilage on the end. So you can actually shave off some of this cartilage off the end here. 
and so you can see so that's Highland cartilage is nice and smooth there and then underneath is, is some uh, is the bone there and so there you go there's the end of a femur uh, ham bone and then we'll get in I'll show you a beef bone next all right okay so here we have a beef bone and I got this from a little market in Oak Ridge, uh, J&M Butcher Shop, so thanks to them. Um, and uh, they were very nice enough to cut this lengthwise for me. So that would be a uh, sagittal section down the middle of the bone. So look at the exterior of the bone first. What, what you see is it's flat on both ends, and that tells you that the epiphysis, the end of the bone here, and the end of the bone down here are both gone. So there should be an end up here and an end down here. But... They cut those off. This is a typical soup bone that you would that you get from the butcher, and so you can see muscle here. So here's some muscle along here, and there's also some other attachments of ligaments here. It's very tough, attached on, and you can see some other external features. Here's this red thing that's sticking off. This is an artery. This is called the nutrient artery, and it's going into the nutrient foramen, which is down underneath there. And we'll see that here in a second when we pull these bones apart. We also have, uh, you can also see along here, you can see the periosteum. So here we go, peel that back. So here's your periosteum, and we can actually dissect off a little bit of that. And actually pull that back away from the bone slightly. So that you can see underneath there, there's the periosteum. See how that is a, it's a dense connective tissue, it's a dense irregular connective tissue layer over the bone so you can see here's the cortical bone here there and here's the periosteum being pulled back there it's very tough very very tough layer so i can't like pull through it. i can cut through it but i i can't pull through it very easily and it covers it goes the whole length of the bone as well so uh, see so here's muscle hanging off there's a little bit of muscle here left over from it's a it's cow bone and so on the end, if we look at this, so here would be the epiphysis sticking up here on, off the end. This, if I scrape across it, this is spongy bone. And you can hear that scraping as the scalpel goes across the spongy bone. And I can actually scrape and get a little bit of stuff off there. You can't really see the spongy uh, bone very well, but then if you if you can see around the edge here, you see this lighter color over here. This is cortical bone, so it's cortical bone or compact bone. So you have the spongy bone, also called trabecular bone, cancellous bone here in the middle, also on this side. And actually, if you poke in, you can actually I can actually poke into it, but on on the cortical bone, it just taps. I can't poke into it; it's too hard. So the cortical bone is compact, it's very, very hard. The spongy bone, I can actually stick a knife into it and it sticks. So, so these are the trabeculae the, the, uh, and there's red marrow in between those little trabeculae in there. So then if we pull the bones apart at the seam where he's cut it, we can see inside here. And there's a little bit of blood that's uh, gone through there. So here's our spongy bone up here and you can see you can hear it there, there's some there, and then as we go down here, all of a sudden, it gets softer. So this is all the yellow marrow, so the red marrow's up here, that's where that little blood, that's where the, some of this blood comes from, here, okay? And this is all yellow marrow here, and you can actually push into it, and if you can see that, you can see that my hand is is actually pushing down into the yellow marrow. So you can see how compressible, compressible it is. So now we're going to try to take out some of this yellow marrow. Let's see if we can get some of it out. There we go. So we start pulling some of, some of that out and it comes right out there. And we have this stringy part here and this is a nutrient artery here 
Okay, so that's an artery coming into, and it went into the fatty tissue in here. And this is your medullary cavity, okay, here. And you see this is cortical bone. This is cortical bone. That's cortical bone. So it, it's this half moon or half pipe shape. If you guys watch, uh, you know, do snowboarding, watch snowboarding stuff, take out some more of this. You can just dig this out with your finger. It's really soft. This uh, yellow marrow and that is very hard all of a sudden so that was so in there is so this is all spongy bone here and there is red marrow up through up through here and this was all the yellow marrow so same thing on the other side this is all yellow marrow so we'll see if we can dig it out there we go so yellow marrow comes popping right out and then we can pull out more of it up here. And so there we go. So you can see that we were we were actually at the the epiphysis would be up here, and this is the diaphysis down here. Okay, so this is the metaphysis, the the point where the epiphysis and the diaphysis meet. So. This is your medullary cavity through here. So the half pipe through here, and then this is all cortical bone through there, and here, all through here. And this is some spongy bone here. And I don't know if we can get any of it to come off or not. Sometimes you get some of it to chip off a little bit for us. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. So, so it's it's a lot more breakable. And if you, it's hard to see, but if I can get that off. So if you can see that, you can see that there's, it's just irregularly shaped in there. So that's all your spongy bone with trabeculae all through here. And there's a medullary cavity, diaphysis, metaphysis, epiphysis would be up here. And uh, the other one, we have the nutrient, a nutrient artery coming in here. Okay. And the nutrient artery feeds the yellow marrow as well as the bone tissue that's all through here. And so there you are. There is your beef bone with the uh, diaphysis and the medullary cavity. And then you can see it on this end as well. And here's the, uh, the yellow marrow. I pulled it apart a little bit so you could see because the nutrient artery runs to the middle of the, of the yellow marrow, which I just find very interesting. And you can see it if I pull it apart. So that is the nutrient artery running right there. So you can see it right there. I've, pulled, I've actually pulled it apart. So that's the center of it there. But that's the nutrient artery there. So that's in the middle of your yellow marrow. So it's protected by the yellow marrow there. All right.